In Sound Mind is a first-person psychological horror adventure game where you play as Desmond, a therapist who awakens in his apartment to find something is very wrong with the entire town. The game is available on Steam, PS5, Switch, and Xbox consoles. The game's atmosphere varies greatly from chapter to chapter, with each of Desmond's patients representing a different corner of the game, and while some are more creepy like the dark and lonely forests of the fourth chapter, and some are eerie like the abandoned shopping mall of the first chapter, the atmosphere only comes and goes, even in more traditional horror environments. This is mostly down to the gameplay that keeps changing from puzzle solving to boss fights and combat, so much so that the creepy moments don't hang around for long or are easy to forget as something else is always happening. Be cool. Though some parts of the game exude a certain sadness or feeling of remorse, like the patient's apartments, it only sinks in when nothing is happening, which is rare. A lot of things also disarm the atmosphere time and time again, like the things that Desmond says to himself are quite light-hearted and jovial in the face of what's happening, and things like talking cats and even the game's antagonist Agent Rainbow can take the atmosphere out of the moment based on the dialogue. I have a feeling, a hunch if you will, that looking into your patient's death will result in a similar fate. Don't misunderstand, I want you to die, but maybe not so early. Try not to shoot yourself with that pistol you found. Though well, that would be quite funny. <laughs> The atmosphere has a few moments to itself, but it's very few and far between. That's no Harry Mason's. Scares. The game's scares really only consist of scripted events and jump scares, and while some of them are seriously impressive in the way they work, especially with the mannequin and its many scripted events in the shopping mall, which was incredibly well done, many of them just aren't frightening or serve as a single frightening moment in a game that took me over seven hours to beat. The gun battles and action set pieces are really exciting as opposed to frightening and only a few moments where Ancient Rainbow tries to kill Desmond really feel like legitimate threats on Desmond's life rather than him being pranked. There are moments that work well, but scaring the player doesn't seem to be high up on the list of the game's priorities, and it shows. That's still no Harry Mason's. Sound Design The soundtrack is jam-packed with slow, emotional pieces, creepy, ghostly tracks, and then full-on rock and country tunes, the fast-paced combat music, or the reminiscing sound of slide guitars. The apartment music is again often haunting, the eerie metallic whines of the home Mama ambience proves there's a lot of great creepy music to back up the moments where the atmosphere is allowed to seep in. 
The music throughout the game is really great. Impactful, emotional tracks, its OST is filled of them back to back. The sound effects are a bit generic, but it saves the best for last with the voice acting. Some of the patient's dialogue is fantastic, with them confessing or not confessing to their problems in a way that feels convincing. Ancient Rainbow talks in riddles, but his voice and the way he delivers lines stands out every time you pick up the phone when he calls. There he is. Long have I waited for this moment, to watch as you scramble for your last breath, as you try to make sense of your reality and the gravity it carries, pulling you down. <laughs> oh, I can't contain my excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I will have you, Desmond Wales. I will have all of you. The sound environments are realistic enough that there's nothing immersion-breaking or questionable that I noticed whilst playing. Overall, the sound design is great. That's one, Harry Mason. Gore. There's no gore in the game, and based on the story, it wouldn't make any sense for there to be any. That's two Harry Masons. They say curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> I killed the cat. Curiosity only brought her to me. Story. The game's story follows Desmond Wales as he's dragged through the psyche of his patients' minds and must confront their fears and feelings that consume them, as well as constantly battling his own. The story is built up through tapes of therapy sessions with the patients and the notes you find in their apartments before travelling into their minds to see how things have manifested with some of their fears being portrayed as giant bulls or walking flashlights, and the environments also reflect elements of their woes. There's a lot of notes, letters, and diaries you can find, and some of them are questionable as to why anyone would write them down, but a lot of them are really interesting and provide insight to how the world has been formed from the various things that are troubling the people that come to Desmond. There's a grander conspiracy going on in the background that doesn't really come to fruition or be resolved, which teases the possibility of a sequel. There are some things that are a little too cryptic, but some of it seems deliberate with Ancient Rainbow, the game's antagonist, being nebulous in nature until the very end, and even then it's hard to say exactly what he represented. Overall though, it's pretty good for the experience and the story is honestly the game's strongest point, making the final score 3 out of 5 Harry Masons. As far as adventure games go, In Sound Mind is one of the best. It's really constantly engaging and its story and puzzles are pretty satisfying. The combat and action set pieces are fun and the way things are represented by people's troubles is fantastic. Overall I really like this game, but as a horror game it's severely lacking. Again, I'd like to remind you, the whole thing is down to my opinion in horror games, and if you don't share this opinion, then that's cool, I get it. I'd like to point out that whilst I didn't get to cure my patients, I didn't leave without trying and advise you don't either. There are more horror reviews in the pipeline, and thanks for watching. Now let's go check out Bumps in the middle of the night. Peace.